So, I've been trying to wrap my head around this whole Afro-Latino thing okay. since I was like six years old. I often wonder why Thanksgiving was spent in two separate homes. Yo soy panameño, pero I never spoke a word of the tongue that I heard. I was never home. Amidst the wave flags and parades, I once hung with the crowd and didn't understand a word they were saying. I was too black to fit in, but not Latino enough, and I never had a choice. I've been getting used to living two separate lives and loving them both. Like, I never knew the black that swung from the poplar, nor the Hispanic that swung in my mother's hips during Saturday morning cleanings. I never knew the black that the fire hoses could never wash off, nor the rice that stuck to my knees after punishment. I never knew the pride that came from Malcolm and Martin, nor the fear that came from a Colombian border. I never understood how I could smell like outside. <laughs> Nor could I wrap my head around how mama's flying chancla could somehow bend corners. I never danced my chata with skill or caught a mean dub on the parkway, but I promise if you spill my blood to the soil, those trees will bear strange fruit. Yes. This life, confusing and elusive, like... So, I'm the fourth consecutive Carl on my father's side of the family, yet the first of my full name, yet for some reason they keep calling me CJ. Like they don't know the junior, it doesn't actually belong there, but it dangles at the end, it hangs, like my great grandfather's closest friend, who I am ironically older than now than he was when they found his body to think that my very existence was once in the hands of a white man's whim. My very name, all Oxfords and Jordans and beige Tims, these shoes becoming harder to fill by the second, but I'm the fourth. The fourth on my mother's side to be birthed an American, to carry the name Emmanuel to be grateful that the only Noriega I knew was a super thug with Pharrell and Khalees. But when me I went on was brought to his knees by police, <coughs> checked for cash and ID just to be set free, to die another day of the same week, to think my very existence was once in the hands of a foreign officer's whim, but I've been here before. I went to college, and I was Carlton Banks back home, but Tupac on campus, and I mean, way more hit him up at a lot less Thugs Mansion. I knew all too well how to bury this Brooklyn, how to wrap this speech all ribbon, proper, and choke, they say, gives you somebody who can do both. So I am an Afro-Latino who found beauty in the phrase years before BuzzFeed said it was cool. I found beauty in this phrase years before Huffington Post used it as a means to connect to millennials, and I am standing right here on a Brooklyn stage as whole as ever and confused no more. Yeah.